Buenas tardes, Yak Watchers. That's not quite all the fun from the Sultan. Because some half a decade later, for reasons best known to themselves, Pez Software decided to release a Spanish language port of Sultan's Maze, known as Labyrintho Sultan. I don't know, maybe they thought five years was just about enough time for people to recover from the English original. Personally, I don't think the Spanish Amstrad CPC owning public would have been too interested in yet more hedge jumping action, but at least now the hedges seem to be filled in rather than a series of vertical lines. But apart from the obvious translation from English into Spanish, I can't really see anything else they've changed. Uh, maybe they thought it was perfect enough as it was. As Steven Spielberg would do well to remember, you shouldn't mess with the classics. Now, since my walkthrough of this game, I have actually bothered to go and take a look at pictures of Castillo Hampton, otherwise known as Hampton Court Palace. The wireframe rendition you see here, uh, well, it's acceptable. I suppose it's as close as you're gonna get for the Amstrad CPC. But it did remind me of something. Anybody who watched the road cycling time trials at the 2012 Olympic Games will have noticed that the medal ceremonies took place in front of Hampton Court Palace. I, I wouldn't want to be doing that if I were you. Too many wireframe ghosts lurking around for my liking. Speaking of which, there is actually a video knocking around of the supposed Hampton Court ghost. I think it was on Richard and Judy about ten years ago. But the footage is quite obviously fake. The actual Hampton Court ghost is made up of drinking straws. So I died of severe sunstroke. Or at least that's the only reason that I can think of. Oh, unless that plane crashed on me. Actually, I probably dropped dead from the sheer fear. Oh, that ghost. He could be round any corner. <sighs> okay, it's time to face my fear. We're gonna do a spot of ghost hunting. Yes, we're gonna track down that blasted ghost and extinguish it once and for all. I don't know how, but I guess we'll think of something when we get there. Aha! There he is! Shh. If you stay perfectly quiet, he cannot hear you. You see, that's his weakness. As a ghost, he has no ears. Or at least, the code is never bothered giving him some. Alright. I'm gonna sneak up on him and clock him on the head with this stick. Ha! -ha! <sighs> Take that, you blasted go- Huh? Where'd he go? He's run off, the coward! Ah, uh, that's the thing about ghosts. They're more scared of you than you are of them. <sighs> I take that back! <sighs> Excuse me while I go and get a drink. Phew. Well, while I haven't quite managed to conquer my fear of single pixel line ghosts, I do have a newfound appreciation of what it's like to be a real life Pac-Man. Moving really, really slowly.